Hey guys, this is Roxanne from Capica Soapery, and I'm going to quickly run through a tutorial on how to use this math assist tool uh, that I put together for sculpted layers. Uh, please do make sure you kind of read through this top section before you use the tool. This summarizes the assumptions that I made uh, and making sure that you understand all of these assumptions on how this works will help you make sure you get the right math at the end. Uh, this tool will work in either ounces or grams, but the weight must be consistent. So whatever weight you put in is the weight it's going to give you. So if you always enter in grams, it'll give you grams at the end. If you always enter in ounces, you'll get ounces, but you can't mix and match. It won't do conversions for you. Um, you do need to know the total weight of oils used in your recipe that fill the mold that you're planning to use. Uh, for me, I use the Workshop Heritage Extra Tall Skinny, and with my recipe, I know that that's a little over 1,400 grams is what fills that mold. Um, so that's the weight of the oils in my recipe, not including my lye and water. It's not the total volume, it's just the oil weight. Um, this tool also assumes that your fragrances are going to get added to your master batch of oils and that your sodium lactate, if you use that, will get added to your master batch of lye. Uh, as we get into the steps, it has more instructions on how to add those in and if you don't use them, what to do. Um, and this does assume that you're not using any other additives. So this tool won't work if you add other things into your oils um, or if you add in other things into your lye solution. It works based off of a weight and it's giving you the weight based on just all of your oils, your lye and water, fragrance, and the option of sodium lactate. Um, this tool will assume that you know how to scale a batch in soap calc. I'll quickly show you how I do that, um, but if you have questions about that, I definitely recommend getting familiar with the soap calc tool. And this sheet is locked, so you can't click into other things. Uh, only these yellow cells are editable, and those are the cells that you'll be typing into. Uh, please do follow the steps in order, making sure you finish one step before you move on to the next. If you jump around, there's a chance that the math won't work correctly for you. Um, there are two links provided here. This top one is to SoapCalc, uh, and this bottom one is to the grid tool that I use to put the grids that I reference here over my images. Uh, you can just upload either a picture of a drawing or a digital file, and it will put just a, a grid over top of it for you. Let's move on to our instructions. So for step one, you want to take your design and either draw a grid by hand or overlay a grid on your computer on top of it. If you're using a digital design, again, I like to use this link, uh, which will add a grid for you. And I've gone ahead and done that from a picture I took on my phone of a drawing of my design. So this was my drawing. I kind of cropped it to a rectangular shape and I used that grid tool just to make these little boxes over top. Um, I've only done the first couple of layers here in this illustration just so this video isn't you know, forever long, uh, but this will walk you through how to do this uh, for the first few steps. So step one, draw your grid, we've done that. Step two is going to be enter the total weight of oils you use to fill your mold right now. Uh, so if you're making a batch that was going to fill your mold, you want the total oil weight. So if I swap over to soap calc here, you can see this is my normal recipe. Uh, my normal batch is 1,463 grams to fill. So that is right here. And that's going to be this number right here that we take. So all of my oil weights, 1463. Now note that's not my full soap weight. My full soap weight is up here. I just want my oils. So if I swap back to my spreadsheet, I'm going to put that 1463 here, 1463. And you can see this corresponds total weight of oils to fill your mold. And this is step two, which is where we are. For step three, you want to just count the total number of squares in that grid you made. Um, I know that that's 112 off the top of my head. I made a note of it right here. But you would just count your count your cells. You can count how many tall, multiply it by how many wide. You get 112. So we're going to stick that number in here. And that number might be different for you. Um, that's just based on your number of cells. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Next is where we start counting out our layers. So we're going to count the number of squares that your first layer of soap would cover when it was poured. Uh, this is step four. It's important here that you remember to account for the soap that you're going to scrape out. So as you're kind of working layer to layer across your image, think about where you're going to be in the pouring process and what you're going to be scraping out at that time. So for us in step four, this bottom area is what I'm going to pour first. This is the bottom of my mold. And if nothing is scraped out, I want it to be filled to at least right here, right? Because you can see it comes up this high. So at least this high. 
So if I count those cells, you can see I've marked with an X the ones that are going to be filled. That is 64 cells, and I've counted it ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me count. Um, but this depth is going to be 64, and that's layer 1. So that is going to get entered right here, 64 squares in layer 1. Step five, count the number of squares your second layer would cover, and um, that'll go into here. So we're just going to work our way down each layer. So for layer two, so now this is poured. We have up to here in the mold with soap, and the first thing we're going to scrape out is going to be our sun right here. So if we consider that that's now gone and we want to fill it, how many squares would it take to fill that sun kind of up to as high as we need it? So since my sun kind of comes to the top of this grid, I'm going to go one layer up. I want to fill it up to here, and I'm going to count those squares. So it's, it's just what's been scraped out. It's okay if you overestimate a little bit. It's better to have a little too much than not enough. Um, but this is 24 squares that I put an X on. So that is going to get plugged into here, into layer 2, 24. Same thing for layer 3. Layer 3 is this first pyramid. Again, we can see our pyramid kind of comes up to here on this side, so it needs to be at least this deep before we scrape. I'm going to count up that number of squares. That's 25 squares. I'm going to put that into layer 3. And then I would just repeat the whole way down. So my next layer would be this blue, which I know is going to need 24 squares. And again, I'm not drawing all of this out for you. Um, I'm just going to plug in the numbers. I did this on paper. Uh, but just so you can see how many you need. If there are more rows here than layers that you have, that's fine. Just leave them blank. You don't have to worry about it. Um, this won't affect your final recipe. And again, don't pay any attention to the math until you've gone all the way through all the steps because these numbers will change as you work. So step five is finished. Step six, once you've entered all your layers, the weight in G8, which is right here, this right here, is the total number of oils you're going to need in your resized batch. So this is where I said that uh, knowing how to resize a batch in soap calc was important. We'll take note of this number. It's 2770. We can round. That's fine. And then we're going to swap back over to soap calc, and we're going to scale up our batch. So if I swap back to soap calc here, I've got my recipe plugged in already. Uh, this is the recipe that's provided to you in the tutorial uh, for the Soap Challenge Club for April if you're getting to this video that way. Uh, if you're not, this is a great recipe for sculpted layers. You're welcome to use it. You can see how I have it set up here. And I like to use my water as a percent of oils. I like this to be 25%. Super fat is always 6%. And I leave the fragrance blank because I want to be able to add that in myself. Recipe is plugged in. I'm going to tap calculate. Now, what I'm going to do from here is scale this batch. So this is how much I need normally. But using my 2770 from my other page, I'm going to hit calculate again. And then I'm going to view my recipe. So you will see that this is the new scaled recipe. 2770 of oils compared to my original one, which is 1463. And this would be what I would want to make my master batch to be in order to print this design. Uh, you can see this is a lot of soap. It's about eight pounds of soap. This is almost double for this recipe. Um, this particular design just has a lot of batter that's being scraped out of it. You can reduce how much that is based on how you're doing your layers or what you're scraping and how much you're planning on removing. Yours is not necessarily going to be double. Um, sometimes it's a very small amount that ends up being scraped out, but for this particular design, it is a lot. I tend to use that extra batter just to make fragrance samples or to make bars that I end up gifting away for free. Um, you can kind of use whatever with it. It's still soap. It still washes. So let's swap back to our tutorial here. I'm going to just pull this to a different screen. So we've rescaled our batch, which was step six. Now we're going to, using our new resized recipe, enter our total weight of lye plus water into this cell G9. So if we come back to our scaled recipe, you can see our water is 692 grams. Our lye is 388. If we add those together, 
we get a thousand and eighty ish give or take and so that's what we're going to come over here and we're going to put in here 1080. Uh, for fragrance you should know the weight of fragrance that you want um, i'm going to use about 200 grams of fragrance because this is an eight and a half pound batch and for sodium lactate i'm going to use about one tablespoon per pound of oils which is we'll say about eight tablespoons which is going to be a little over 100 115 grams so we'll say about 100 grams of sodium lactate if you are not using either fragrance or sodium lactate you can either leave these cells blank or you can put a zero in it and it will adjust as needed below since it assumes that your fragrance goes to your oils you can see uh, if you watch these numbers down here you will see when I make this a zero, those numbers are going to change a little bit. And same thing with the master batch lye solution. If I remove my sodium lactate, you'll see those numbers change a little bit too. Uh, it is factoring in for you that volume when you do your math. And from here, that is your table. So this is how much oil and lye you need for each layer. So for my first layer, I want about 896 grams of oils with 356 of lye. For layer two, 336 and 133, and you can just work your way down measuring those off from your master batch as you go, um, mixing them up and pouring them. Um, I find this to be a really easy way to do it. It's generally pretty accurate. It's not perfect, but it's close enough, um, and it tends to work out really well. If you have any questions about this tool, please feel free to shoot me an email. My email is here in the tool, capricasopery at gmail.com, uh, and I will try and get back to you quickly so that I can help you. Otherwise, though, I hope this is helpful, and I hope that you get some good use out of it and make some fantastic sculpted layer soaps. Um, if you do use the tool or any of the tutorials that I've put together, please tag me. Uh, I'm on Instagram or on Facebook, both at Caprica Sopery. I would love to be able to see uh, what you've made. Thanks so much and uh, happy making.